welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lash extension review for you and what my experience was like. It starts yesterday when I initially got them done and then I have some questions that I answered today and what my experience was like. So if you're interested, just keep watching. These girls wanna tie a kid down and keep me around But I would never change, I'm a dog, I'm a hound But I tell them what they wanna hear, they like how I sound So this is gonna be my review of my lash extensions that I got done today. I didn't want to ask my technician to take a video just because there were other people in there and I didn't want them to feel uncomfortable that they would be on video or anything so I didn't ask if she could film it but I am going to talk about what she did, what it felt like. I'm about to go out to dinner right now but I'm not going to add any more makeup or anything. This is currently what my face looks like. She did put tape under my eyes. It took a little bit of my foundation off. But I did actually test out this new foundation by NYX. It's called Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I got the full size bottle at Beautycon for free. They were giving them out at their booth. And I do like the formula. Um, I can't give a good review on it right now since she was pulling things off and that's usually not what I do when I have foundation on. But it stayed on pretty good. So these are what my lashes currently look like with the extensions on. They feel totally bare, which I absolutely love that. I am going to probably get a little bit more dramatic style in the future because I actually do really love the way they look. I'm going to go to my Instagram right now and I'm going to do one of the little polls and ask um, if you guys have any lash questions or anything that you wanted to know about my experience and then I'm going to also answer those tomorrow. So it is now the morning. All I did for my eyes today was go in with the palette by Tarte and went in with the shade Activist right here which is like a dark brown, dark burgundy shade and I just lined my upper lash line with that so it will give it a little bit more definition. I am going to zoom you guys in so you can see what my lashes look like today. They do feel super comfortable just like they did yesterday. I didn't experience any of them falling out or anything like that and I did abide by all the rules like not getting them wet or using oil based products or anything like that. So I think that does really help. Um, so keep that in mind when you're getting them done. So they do still look super natural. They do look a little bit more full because I did put on that shadow under it. Um, but it was super easy. Since I wasn't able to film her actually doing the lashes, I'm going to kind of explain what I was feeling when she was doing it. So it kind of felt like she was taking a pair of tweezers and separating my natural lashes and then going in with an individual lash and sticking it onto one of my real lashes. So they do come out with your natural lashes. People usually ask like how long do lashes take? Like how often do you need to do a fill in? Um, your lashes are going to fall out depending on how much your natural lashes fall out so I made my three week appointment so three weeks from today she went ahead and rescheduled me for mine because you do have to get fill-ins two to three weeks or even like once a month or something like that to keep them updated because they are connected to your natural lash and your natural lashes tend to fall out quite often this is a little card that she gave me with some of the things that I'm not supposed to do so it's called aftercare instructions do not get the lashes wet for the first 24 hours do not use oil-based products, creams, or waterproof mascara. Use only water-based makeup and makeup remover. Remove makeup around the eye with a cotton swab. Do not perm, tint, or use an eyelash curler. Be careful to avoid pulling on them, obviously, and please see a trained technician to actually take them off. Um, I've heard horror stories of people being allergic to the lash glue and unfortunately that's really common. You want to check that out with your lash technician before you get them because people do tend to get eye infections and things like that if they are allergic. The last thing she has on here is to extend the life of your lashes. Please reschedule touch-ups every two to three weeks like I said because they do fall out with your natural lashes. So for your guys' questions that I asked, I asked it on my personal page which is at Caitlin with three T's and an underscore at the end and then my makeup page which is makeup by kate.xoxo. Um, I went ahead and asked you guys questions. So I screenshotted them and the first question is, where did you get them done? I'm so looking forward to getting them done. I just need places for recommendations. Um, so I went to this place called Vixen Lash and Brow. I'm not sure what they do to brows, if they do microblading or anything like that. Um, I wasn't interested in that part so I just got my lashes done. But it is called Vixen. It was near the Burkdale area. Um, 
if you want to know the exact address or anything just please let me know and I'll go ahead and DM you that information. When you are picking a place to get your lashes done, do your research because there are some places that are super sketchy and they don't have their esthetician license or anything like that. So I definitely did my research and I did it for about a week looking at reviews and looking at people's pictures and things like that because I definitely wanted to go to someone that was trained and knew what they were doing. And I saw a bunch of comments about the certain technician that I went to and she was awesome. So it was a really great experience, but I highly recommend you doing your research before picking a place. So the next question I got was how expensive are they? So that's really going to depend on where you go and what area you're in. I was in the Burkdale area. So that's a pretty nice area. Um, mine was about, I believe, 150 to 200 I did book it a while ago, so I can't remember the exact amount. But I also did go ahead and book a three-week fill-in along with that. So it was a really good deal. Usually it could be anywhere from, you know, 185 to $300. So it really depends on where you go. But again, do your research. You don't want to go somewhere that's super cheap just because it is cheap. What was the worst part? I think the worst part of this was when she was actually working on this eye. This eye was already complete, um, but she went ahead and like rested her hand on this eye to get this one done, and that was kind of painful since the lashes were like really sticking in my eye. Another um, uncomfortable part of it was when she was trying to separate the bottom and the top lashes. They weren't super glued together or anything like that. She was just taking a sharp object and kind of like, I don't know if she was cutting it or just trying to separate it in general, but that was kind of painful. It wasn't unbearable, but it definitely was uncomfortable. What was the position that you were in when you got them done? Okay, so I was sitting on a chair that you lean back. It wasn't like a straight lean back. It was kind of like you were tilted so that way she could get a good angle and there was also a light above her so she could see what she was doing very well. How long did it take? Um, it took around two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. Um, it is super uncomfortable. The longer you stay there, you're like, oh my gosh, I want to leave. Like, when is this going to be over? And then you look at your final result and then it's worth it so then we have one of my friends she says girl I'm really trying to get into those they're so valuable um, I think what she means is like they're super popular definitely look into it I'm looking into it I do want to do it but it just does take a really long time per customer but it is pretty good money depending on where you do it in the area that you do it but go for it I say go for it one of my friends uh, he said if you get long enough lash extensions will they now be called eye hair Yes. Most of the questions that I also have are very similar to the ones I've already answered, but if you do have any more questions, feel free to DM me on either of my pages and I'm more than happy to help you or answer your question. Sometimes I do do those little question polls and ask you guys if you have any makeup questions and stuff like that, so feel free to always do that if you have questions. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on my lash extension review, and if you're interested, I do have some old cringy videos that you can watch next, um, but please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!